Good morning. Glad you could join us this morning. Hope you're having a great week so far. We're now at the end of the week, the first week of August. And uh, this weekend, we got our Hawaiian Sunday. And it's always a wonderful thing. Bring somebody up to church with you. Don't come to church alone. And uh, and we're going to have a great day enjoying, bringing a little bit of Hawaii here to Hopewell Baptist Church. I was able to go out Wednesday and uh, uh, meet a 23-year-old young man and uh, got to lead him to Christ. And uh, it's always wonderful how God sets up uh, uh, divine appointments in life. And uh, during that same day on Wednesday, I knocked on a door of a lady and uh, who didn't have time to talk, but she said, I want to talk. I want to uh, uh, sit down. And uh, so I came back on Thursday, yesterday, was able to st- st- uh, st- stand with her in her front yard and able to lead her to Christ. And uh, she said, well, I was baptized many years ago. And I said, well, it's great to be baptized. But uh, baptism is not going to get you to heaven. And I asked her if she ever remembered when, the day when she trusted Christ as her Savior. And if she couldn't. And so we settled that yesterday. And it's a wonderful thing. And she's planned to come out, hopefully, with a friend on Sunday. And it's just a wonderful thing to see what God does. And uh, seeing people saved. I hope you're able to see somebody saved this week. And uh, uh, give tracks out. Tell somebody about Christ. And uh, be a help to your spiritual life. I'm going to bring to you a, uh, some, a verse this morning, maybe a couple verses, but uh, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13, the Bible says, The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Pride, arrogancy, and the evil way, and the forward mouth do I hate. Now, the fear of the Lord, I looking at this for a little while, but the fear, having a fear of God, it's important that you, as a believer, have a fear of God. This is not necessarily a fear, although it could mean that, but not necessarily a fear of, uh, 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 I'm scared. Uh, But a fear meaning reverence, meaning a higher position. The the fear meaning uh, God is so much higher than me. The Bible says in Isaiah, your thoughts are higher than my thoughts, in your ways, my ways. God's ways are so much higher than our ways. God's thoughts are so much higher than our thoughts. The way God does things is so much greater. God is more powerful. God is stronger. God is more awesome than we could ever imagine. And uh, we understand how great God is. And the thing is, we we're, we're, we are to take that that thought and that that loftiness that we put Christ on, put God on, and bring it into our lives. And we ask the question, where does God sit when it comes to position in our lives. How highly do we think of God? How highly do you think of God? Uh, The degree to which you think of God is the degree that you're going to serve Him, the degree that you're going to move things out of the way for Him. Those that have a low view of God don't serve God very much, if at all. They don't care really what God thinks. Those who have a high view of God uh, or a fear of God realize that they get to serve the true living God, and they get to do things for God. And they they serve, and they and they and they read their Bible, and they pray, and they have a walk with God. And uh, but they, they they stay away from sin. But that fear of God uh, ought to be high in your life. Now you, ought to have a, you ought to have a high view of God. God ought to be up here in your life, not at the bottom. Now, the Bible oh, 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 quite a few times says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The Bible says that the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. As I, I, my view of God goes up, as I realize that God is greater, as I have a greater respect for God, a greater reverence for the king of the universe, my, my I begin to hate what God hates. I'm also going to say the opposite. I begin to love what God loves. I begin, able to, I begin to do what God wants me to do. Why? Because I have a high reverence for God. Those who have a low reverence, a low respect, a low regard for God, and uh, don't care... To do anything for God. Why? Because they don't care what God thinks. When God is high, your your reverence, your respect for Him is high. You're going to want to do what He wants. 
You're going to have that desire to do what he says. And so uh, I hope this will be a help to you this morning. The Bible uses this, these words here. Uh, pride. The idea of lifting yourself up. God says the fear of the Lord is to hate what? Hate evil. Hate sin. The higher view you have of God, the more you're going to hate sin. Again, the higher view you have of God, the more you're going to hate sin. And uh, we see in our generation or day that we have Christians that are participating in sin, participating in the things of this world. Now, uh, you cannot be a, a, a person that views God highly and participate in sin because the Bible says the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. You're going to hate it. You're going to stay away from it. And the higher view of God, you realize, I don't want that in my life because God is so much greater. God uh, wants, uh, the, the the view I have for God is so much higher than I could ever, uh, that, 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 I, that I don't want that sin, that I don't want that the worldliness that's in life. The Bible uses the word arrogance, thinking of myself more highly than I should. Yeah, when God goes up, you go down. When the view of God goes up in your life, the view of you comes down. And you realize that you're nothing without God. The evil way, the ways of sin, uh, taking others down the road of sin. You don't want any of that. You're not going to participate in that. The f forward mouth Bible talks about, but the refusal to speak right, rebellious, stubborn. You're not going to stand obstinate to what God wants. In fact, you're going to let God do what he needs to do, and you're going to be on board with it. Why? Because your reverence, your respect, your fear of God is high up there. Uh, having a, f a fear of God is a choice. The Bible tells us that in, in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 29. I'm going to read that quickly, but Proverbs chapter 1, verse 29, the Bible says, For they that hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. You can choose to put God uh, on a lower level. You can choose to have a low view, a low respect, a low reverence for God. But uh, uh, but you're going to go up. So somebody in your life is going to go up. It's going to be you or it's going to be God. And I would prefer that you have God in your life. That you have God, the reverence of God, high in your life. Having a fear of God brings a more fulfilled life. Having a fear of God brings excitement. Having a fear of God brings strong confidence. Why? Because the confidence doesn't come from me. The world tells me, oh, uh, you need to build yourself up so you have the confidence. No, I I, I get a hold of God and, and, and I have a... A high view of God, and that's where I get my confidence. I don't get my confidence from man. I don't get my confidence from making myself happy. I get a confidence from holding God up high, having a high view of God, because that confidence comes from Him. That excitement, that joy of the Christian life comes from Him. A more fulfilled life, a happy life, an exciting life all comes from Him. Why? Because I want to push Him higher. And I want to lift Christ up. I don't want to lift myself up. I don't want to lift what I do up. I want to make sure Christ is lifted up. When we work in ministry, I want to make sure Christ is lifted up. I want to make sure the view of God is high. And we don't come together on Sundays, Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, Saturday. We don't come together to lift ourselves up. We come to lift, lift Christ up. Why? Because we want to make sure the view of God is high. And when it comes to the church, and when it comes to your personal life, it's important that you view God high. That you have yourself, that you get yourself a view of God that's high. That you get yourself a reverence for God that's high. That you give yourself a respect and an honor for God that's high. And that and by default, when God is high, you're going to look at sin and say, I don't want that. I love God too much to want that. You're going to look at sin and say, I don't want that. You're going to look at the things of this world. I don't want that. I don't want the Hollywood movies. I don't want the the the, the lifestyle. I don't want to live that way. I don't want to. Uh, I want to raise good kids. I want to be in church. I want to go soul winning. Why? Because your view of God is high. And uh, the Bible says, or do you mean? Uh, it's it's been said. I should say the Bible says, but it's been said. Uh, obviously, certain places in the Bible that who you hang around, you eventually become like them. And uh, if you hang around God a whole lot more, you're going to become what God wants you to become. You're going to be like God wants you to be. You're going to take on the traits, the spiritual traits that God wants you to have because you spent time with Him, my friend. To give get yourself a view of God that's high. Put God. On a high pedestal. Put them as high as you can. And uh, and then you'll see the benefits. 
Uh, you'll hate sin. See the benefits. You'll hate the worldliness. You get some discernment. You'll see the world and be like, man, that's that's not right. And uh, it'll be important in your life. It's important to have a fear of God. We live in a generation that's lost the fear of God. God is not in all their thoughts. God is on a low pedestal. Therefore, sin is high. And uh, when a, when a society participates in sin, their thresh their their view of God is low, if 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 at all existent. And so keep myself, uh, keep yourself Christian with a view high of God, and uh, keep God high up in your life, that reverence, that honor, that respect, so you can live the life that God wants you to live. I hope that's a blessing to you this morning. If I can be a help to in any way, I would love to be the best that I can. Love to see you this weekend in church. Bring somebody with you. Don't come to church alone. There's plenty of people out there that want to come to church. Ask God to help you find them. Have a great day and have a great weekend. God bless.